Hello, folks. Welcome back to New France. I'm Grimoth. Grimoth Jack Reaper, that is, and I'm Viceroy of all this terrain. Last episode, uh, we... <laughs> As I wrote in the video description, <laughs> um... We're just gonna say that my seasoned scalp told the Aztec chieftain that he had asthma, and so could not toke upon the peace pipe. And in offense, the Aztec chieftain said, Fine! Prepare for war! But it's a good thing that the that they only have four cities, and, you know, closer to the English. Speaking of which, I believe that Aztec chieftains took that to mean they need to give all of their fucking gold and treasure to the damn English, because they've already turned in two treasure, uh, two treasure units, totaling an assload of money, which, even if half of that was given to the English king, a fucking za. That's all I got to say, folks. A fucking za. By the way, as you can see, that totem pole should have been removed. Where? All oh, right. He Peter hasn't arrived yet. Sorry. You actually have to wait for him to arrive first. That makes sense. I'm glad I made that all work out in my head. Speaking of which, we noticed that he's actually producing six lumber per turn as opposed to the four he used to be producing. That's a good improvement, folks. I approve of that improvement. Aha! The Aztecs are pleased to see. Yes, yes, yes. I understand, dude. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Oh, God. <laughs> With all that money the English have at their disposal, they, um, appear to have acquired a few dragoons. Um, I, I don't think this is going to work, everybody. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I've lost this game? <laughs> no particular reason. No reason. No reason. I'm so screwed. No, we won't attack the fucking Aztecs. Let's go uh, greet them, though. Go greet the English. Sounds like a good idea, everybody. Yes, yes, you're angry and upset. And you've been violated. Emperor, explore Grim of Jack River. Because of recent developments in our ongoing war with the Ottoman Turks, we have decided to raise your tax rate by 2%. Okay. Let's uh, introduce ourselves to the English. This could be, this could be bad. Greetings, explorer group of Jack Reaper, and welcome to New England. We have justly claimed all this land in the name of our Queen and the Church of England. And we are here to seek a life of religious freedom, freedom and service of the crown. Please do not interfere with this God-given mission. Although all this land is rightfully ours by order of the Queen, we propose a demarcation treaty dividing all the land between God and the world. Sure. Go in peace, English brothers. Right, right. We, we're, we're just going to go ahead and leave you guys. Hopefully you just continue to dick around with the Indians, because I really don't want to have to deal with you. As I got a feeling that they saunter their troops further south, this game may be over a bit quicker than I would have liked it to be. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying things are bad right now, folks. But they could definitely be better. Yeah, that's a dragoon unit. I words cannot convey how happy I am over to see that. I don't even have any troops. I, I think, I think, I think I'm going to lose the game. I mean, it's not, it's not past a certain point. So I think I'd be able to still exist in the game. Like once you get past a certain time period, you'll be eliminated from the game. But. I, I don't think I'd end up trying anymore. This is kind of my first game. Let's not get too carried away here. Okay, maybe those units are just exploring. Yes. 
Maybe there's nothing for me to fear at all. Yes. We'll just go with that, everybody. Maybe everything will be okay. Maybe I'm not panicking at all. No, no, not me. I'm not worried about the future or anything. No, of course not. I, I'm not getting the impression I'm going to get my ass kicked or anything. No. Why do I have a bad feeling about this, everybody? <laughs> I'm just saying, things could be better. Sigh, let's go ahead and take this tobacco and go to Quebec. <laughs> Alright. I believe in myself. I believe he's going to acquire more lost cities. But uh, we will continue to live peacefully, and uh, that will be that, everybody. That will be that. Um, I guess head back here and establish yourself. Build. That, that didn't do anything at all, did it? Oh, no, you went back in there. Except I should not have done that. I should have tinkered around with you inside. Like here. Okay, you automatically went to do something. That's nice. Producing ore. I can sell that or make tools out of it or something. So that's cool. I don't have a problem with that. Shit, 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 shit. On a scale from one to this is a fucking problem. We're gonna go with this is a fucking problem, everybody. <laughs> Alright, at least he's alarming the, uh, the Indians, though. I'm going to continue continue to establish missions as I can, and hopefully continue to motivate the Indians against him. I'm hoping that'll end up working out somehow. Let's go ahead and sail this back to La Rochelle to get some money for our loot. We're just going to sell the tobacco since I'm not really worried about uh, making cigars right now. You know, we'll eventually run out of inventory space. I'm going to... You gotta be fucking kidding me. They're everywhere. The English are- oh god. They're everywhere! Jesus! Expert fur trappers. Rum, coat, tobacco. Okay, I'm glad you were pleased to welcome me. You could have given me some loot, but I guess, you know, the English have talked to pretty much every fucking buddy. I, I'm, I'm not liking the looks of this. I'm not gonna lie. It's possible I may have to uh, compromise my uh, my principles in a future game. It's I'm preserving the treasure for the uh, for for the Native Americans for the Mare Indians. Yeah, I'm preserving it. Can I bless you as a missionary? Thank you. Petty criminals have their uses, I like that. Get on this boat. You will. Let's go. Perhaps I should be establishing new colonies with them, but let's not get carried away. This is my first game, folks. I didn't expect this to be a total success, but I was kind of hoping that my challenge would be a bit better than what it ended up being. Which is pretty much a sob fest right now, I think. He has a galleon and oh, so many ships. But I will persevere, damn it. I'm not going to give up. I'm not a wussy! Armory. Allows the steady construction of muskets out of tools. Hmm. Warehouse expansion? No. Blacksmith shop? No. Printing press? Eh. I need a new colonist there. I need another colonist there. Which will allow me to, um... Make a lumber mill? I think it has a minimum requirement of three people, which will help me chop down more lumber so I can get more hammers or something like that. Uh, let's focus on... Sure, you can't get any food at all, because you're retarded. There we go. You! Get out of there. Actually, I want you to mine... Silver. That'll be good. And you... 
I guess I can send you to the tobacco farm. I could, I could, I could. That's a lot of excess food per turn. I like that. Yeah, let's send you to the tobacco house and make some cigars for us. That's good. So I can sell those and get more money, because I'm getting the sneaking suspicion I'm going to need loads of cash. Let's talk to you. Sugar planters. You want food. Tell me of nearby lands that they plan on... Ooh, a capital. A capital. Fuck you, English. Well, at least they haven't raffle stopped me yet. I, I guess that's a poor perk. A plus. Slide into Montreal here. Mm, let's go visit the capital. You go there. <laughs> yes. I will fucking, uh, make peace and happiness and rainbow kittens with these, uh, these American tribes, and I will do my damnedest to manipulate them into going against the English. Kind of like what the French did in real life. <laughs> okay, let's see here. You guys should be able to go ahead and build that, uh... That should be enough lumber for now. Blacksmith house. Go. Thank you. You... Go. No, you did it wrong. You. Go. Yay. No, that's probably not it. I probably need you to go to the carpenter shop, huh? There we go. I did it. We'll keep those supplies there. I could have the hardy pioneer come out and play around with some more tools. I could improve the land around Quebec. I could build roads. Roads! And actually, I think I'll do that. So, let's go ahead and kick the Hardy Pioneer, then, out of here. 80 tools, you'll take all the tools with him. And let's go ahead and move this ship one over, and we'll have it wait. Ask to speak, speak with the chief. Yay, nearby lands! Yay, lost city rumors I won't be taking advantage of. This is awesome! Damn. Computers really aggravated the the American tribe, the Indian tribes there. Alright, Ribble Sentiment is rising in the colonies. That's wonderful. I, I really like the sound of that production bonus. I hope I get around to getting that eventually. Why, why am I choosing to do that? Can I cancel action? No, my turn is lost. I hate this game. <laughs> okay, let's go. We Get down. Get in there! You're gonna build roads! And we'll continue to manipulate the Indians. To the best of our abilities. Just damn it, we can do that. You can... Cry. Let's take this, and take this, and we are heading back to... Home. I like the idea of getting 2,000 gold to get a privateer, so I can start trying to sink all these sh fucking hell. It was a trap! <laughs> Damn it, I hate traps. Let's build some roads! I probably should have started the road first on the silver mine. Oh well. No take backsies, folks. Woohoo! Indentured servants! Congratulations, you don't suck. Would you like a present now? A cookie? Alright, let let, let's get out of the damn trap there. Woohoo! Roads! <laughs> Stop saying that, Griffith. Why not? You're building roads! Thank you, Apache, my brothers, for helping me. Because I'm going to need lots of help. Sell resources. Acquire funds. Bless as another missionary. This is probably not the best strategy, but I think I've just been, like, aggroed now. Like, I'm aggravated. I'm just like, ah. Expert ore miner. Hmm. 
Let's go ahead and pick out another indentured servant. <laughs> I'm pretty intent about this, folks. I will make peace and happiness and rainbow kittens with the Indians, damn it. Master Sugar Planners. Terrain! Lost cities I won't be taking. Yay! Despite their treasure and goodies. I hate you so much, England. You bastard. Ah! Price of silver has fallen. Nose. Let's go visit and explore this tribe. What you guys got? Yay, beads! Beads! Hey, you get away from there. Don't you get too close to me. Don't you attack me. Alright. Oh dear. This this could be unfortuitous, everybody. He could attack me. He could. If he does, I'll just uh I'll just be sad. I'll be sad. Maybe I'll get lucky and he won't take advantage of me and be a dick. But this is you know, those are the colonial powers. This is Europe. I'm not expecting wonders, folks. Getting the impression that I'm going to be snuffed out of this game. But I will be stubborn! Will not let you defeat me! So easily. Hmm. Yeah, I'll manipulate all those tribes near him. They'll be fine. Go ahead! Snuff out my life force! Whatever! Do whatever you want! Jerk! I was hoping that he would move away, because clearly he'd be offended by the fact that I would think that, but it does not appear to be the case. Okay, let's go ahead and sail back to Quebec. Okay. So, I didn't talk to this group yet. I don't think I did. Or maybe I did, and he just decided to pity me and tell me about nearby lands I will never get around to seeing on my own. Continue to be manipulative, manipulative, and conniving. Yay! Conniving. Let's go. Uh, also, observe Quebec in action here. Guards in silver. Woot! I really need to get another colonist here, but I keep converting them all into missionaries. Oops. <laughs> Probably not the best strategy either. Probably not even a good one. But it'll be fun, everybody. Because I'm like the Darlocks. Just because I've been transported into this new place and time does not mean I will continue to be <laughs> not as malevolent and vile or whatever. Shh. <laughs> Don't tell the English that, though. SKS is dumb. He's not listening to me. By the time he gets around to seeing one of these videos, I think I will have already lost this game. <laughs> I think he would be okay with that. Move the silver and these uh, cigars on there, and we are going back home. Speak to the chief. Sweet! You better give me a lot of beads to make up for the fact that I'm not raiding your cities, damn it. <laughs> Okay. Let's go ahead and explore this city then. Ask to speak to the chief. Nearby lands, that's cool. Except you didn't tell me anything new. No. You worthless. You worthless. Oh, they won't even accept my missionaries because I didn't puff on the peace pipe. It's gonna haunt me for the rest of this game, isn't it? <laughs> Next time! Come, let's get on with it, colonization! 
I'm gonna buy a privateer. Trust me, it'll be fun.